Buenas noches, mi gente. Um, I'm Deborah Quetzpal Vasquez, and I'm coming to you from El, the YouTube channel El Mundo Quetzpal. So this month, uh, it, this is November 26th, and uh, we're doing the Sagittarius Mesling Luna, Luna ritual, which is the new moon ritual. And so I'm going to tell you what Sagittarius is strong for. Uh, so you're going to need an, a journal, right? Uh, if you've done this, if you've been doing this with me all along, then uh, you already have your journal. If not, it has to be a brand new journal, um, preferably wrapped, that nobody else has touched. Uh, but if not, well, um, you, you do what you can do, right? Uh, you need an ink pen because it has to be an ink. It cannot uh, be in pencil because uh, the ink gives you solidity, right? Uh, you need a white candle. Uh, and you need sage. Those are the things you absolutely need. You can have some um, Palo Santo because that promotes good energy. Uh, you can have uh, chakra incense and you can have your crystals if you'd like. Okay. This is how you proceed. You um, light the white candle. You light the incense if that's what you're going to use. Uh, you take off your shoes. You smudge around your area. You smudge your whole body and especially your feet because your feet is what carries all the negativity. Uh, you smudge your journal. Okay. You burn some Palo Santo so that you uh, can bring in positive energy if you if you choose to not completely necessary. Um, if you're doing this for the first time, you're going to consecrate your journal. Uh, so you need to uh, look at other, the, the first YouTube and see how to do that. For, this is the first time only. Okay. Uh, that we're in um, Sagittarius and it began at 10.06 a.m. Okay. You can do this ritual for three days. Not that you have to do it every day, but you can do it up to up to three days after this. So today, tomorrow, and uh, Friday. Today is sorry Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Okay, so you um, you don't have to do it every day, but you have those three days to actually do it. So we're going to ask for things that Sagittarius is strong for, uh, and we're going to ask them in the positive, never the negative. Okay. So uh, Sagittarius is is a uh, strength, is a quest for the truth, for peace of mind, travel, freedom, adventure, uh, legal issues, uh, faith, optimism, finding solutions, overcoming excesses. Uh, let's see. Let's start with health because uh, Sagittarius more promotes health in certain areas, just like all the signs. Uh, and if you don't have your health, you don't have anything. Uh, you, Sagittarius is good for your hips, your liver, sciatica, thighs, and upper legs. Okay. So this is how you can ask for health in those areas. Uh, I will have total healing to occur in the area of my any one of those things. I will attract the right information that leads to a total healing of my, you can say whatever of those areas are again. And also, you can also write that you want to attract the, the right information for total healing of your total body. Uh, let's see. Sagittarius is also great for, for a quest for truth. Any type of meditation, uh, prayer, higher guidance, places of worship, frankness, honesty, and uh, direct communication. This is how you can ask for those things. Uh, I will regularly enlist the help of a higher power in directing my life. Uh, I will have a clear connection and communication with my positive spiritual guides. I will have a clear guidance showing me how to pray in a way that connects me directly to whoever you believe in, whether it's God, higher, higher power, angels, your ancestors, Buddha, Allah, whoever it is you believe in. Uh, I will regularly attend a place of worship or meditation class for a minimum of, say, um, once a week, right? Once a week for six months. And let's see how that works. I will be honest with others. I will be filled with courage 
for in, courage in standing for what and acting for my beliefs. Um, I will either meditate, pray, read spiritual books for a minimum of, um, I don't know, maybe five times a week uh, for a minimum of 30 minutes each time. It can be like 30 minutes before you go to bed. Okay, just the fact that you write it makes it seem like you really have that intent. And then sometimes we follow through better. So connection with the natural world. Sagittarius connects with nature, intuition, and peace of mind. Uh, ways you can ask for that is I will listen and respect to my, intuit my intuitive voices and trust my guides to lead me in the right direction. Many times we don't pay attention to what to what our guides are telling us. You've had that happen where you feel like you're, yeah, I shouldn't do that, but you really want to. So you end up doing it and things don't turn out as well as you would have hoped. Um, I will experience the joy of spiritual fullness. I will take action on what my intuitive knowing tells me is the correct path for me. Uh, my, intuition, my intuitive uh, sense to become stronger and more accurate. Uh, I will appreciate the beauty of nature. I will consistently experience peace of mind. We're saying this as if it already has happened. So Sagittarian, Sagittarius inspires freedom, spontaneity, adventure, positive expectations, exploration, and foreign travel. Uh, the ways you can say this is I will take trips to wherever it is you want to go, at a price I can afford. I will take trips and traveling on a regular basis. I will experience the freedom and enjoyment of living my life. I will have more positive adventures in my life. I will view life as a happy adventure. I will enjoy the benefits available in spontaneous interactions with others in the situation regarding whatever it is you want to say, whatever the situation is or the person is, I will be filled with optimism and positive in a positive solution or for a positive solution. Uh, I will successfully explore whatever it is you have an interest in that you've been putting off because a lot of times we're afraid to explore new things. So um, Sagittarius encourage positive relationships with the law. You know, if you're having some legal issues, this is the time that you need to call on the new moon to help. Uh, attorneys, lawsuits, ethics, uh, morality, conscious court proceedings. Um, I will obey my conscience, leading to peace of mind. I will act with integrity uh, on the prompting of my inner being. I will consistently choose the ethical path in the matter of whatever that is. I will clearly choose the right attorney who will handle my whatever court case you have in a positive way at a price I can easily afford, right? This is a little more tangible. Uh, I will have clarity in the court proceedings with whatever that is, allowing me to actively create a positive outcome. And I will have total clarity in my with my lawsuit with whatever that is, resulting in the in making those decisions that are my overall best interest. Okay, great. So Sagittarius also evokes optimism, uh, faith, friendliness, good luck, generous spirit, gallantry. I will be I will behave in a gallant manner with those who need my help. I will have ease easy, friendly relationships with people. I will be filled with confidence in the positive outcome of events. I will be filled with confidence. Uh, I will quickly and solidly know the positive way out of any situation. I will consistently experience the joy of generosity. I will have faith that is that the positive higher power is involved in every aspect of my life. I will be receptive to good luck entering into my area, into every area of my life. Okay. So Sagittarius also help, uh, um, also helps with enhancing higher education, uh, dealing with mentors, seeking answers, colleges and universities, finding solutions, and philosophy. 
I will successfully, you can say this like, I will successfully enroll in the right college for me. I will see my life from a more philosophical point of view. I will easily attract, recognize, and begin working with the right mentor for me who will help me learn whatever it is you want to learn. That's a blank. I will actively seek answers to the dilemma of. I will find solutions to whatever that is in a clear, straightforward way. I also, this is great for university professors. I'm a university professor and so uh, sometimes we don't get the answers we want as clearly as we would like. Um, and so this is a good time to ask for that. We want to ask for clarity. We want uh, our administration to ask for, to uh, answer our questions clearly and positively and act in our best interest. Those of us who have been there and dedicated and, and um, hardworking. Okay. Um, so we, it also, well, Sagittarius is also great for uh, fostering self-nurturing and wisdom. Shortcuts, self-righteousness, making assumptions, excessive, excessive things, um, extravagance, um, blunt communication, and realistic approaches. I will, the way you can ask for that is I will be more diplomatic. I will be wiser in taking hard risks in the areas of whatever that is. I will be careful in my approach with money, relationships, jobs, whatever that is. Uh, I will be realistic in my approaches. So, uh, I will be diplomatic, right? It, sometimes, and I have that problem that I, um, I really am straightforward with people because I really like for people to be straightforward with me. But the reality is not everybody can handle those things. You sometimes you have to tell people things in a different way, in a softer way for them to be able to accept it so that we're not hurting people's feelings. Okay. I will have to work. Uh, so after that, we're going to seal it. You can look through your book uh, at, at the different things you've written throughout the month, right? Uh, and make sure you do that before you, you seal it. After you're done, you've written everything you have to write, whatever other things you have to write, read through it if you want to. Then uh, you're going to seal it with these words, right? So you're going to write these words down. I give thanks to the universe for all of these new moon intentions, fully manif manifesting in divine time, an absolute perfect alignment with my highest good and the highest good of all involved. Así sea. Or if you don't speak Spanish, of course, it's um, so it is. Okay, then you're going to put it away somewhere where nobody gets it. Uh, no cat, no dog, no kid. And um, you're going to just put your hands in the higher spirit so that they can, uh, or the universe, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. And, and know that you've written it down. You asked for it and you're asking for it to be manifested. Okay. So um, I'd like to give thanks to Jan Spiller from New Moon Astrology and Universidad Nahuatl in Ocotepec, Mexico, uh, because they've taught me a lot of different amazing things. Uh, Mexica and Maya at Olmeca Cultura. Uh, and then there's YouTubers out there that are awesome. Um, Melanie Santos is pretty amazing and uh, pretty boss. And just a lot of different people uh, deal with the New Moon uh, rituals. And if what I'm saying doesn't resonate with you, then maybe you can check them out, okay? Uh, I come from a, of a long line of curanderas, and that's what my space is. I am not a curandera, I want to put that out there. But, um, but I have seen these practices uh, my whole life, from seeing my tia abuela do it to, to seeing my mother and then uh, learning from her. Uh, let's see, what else do I have to say? See you in a couple of weeks for the for the full moon ritual. You have to let things go before things can come in. Okay, it's like having this house that's packed with things, and you can't bring anything else in until you get let some things go. All right. So don't forget to like um, this video and then uh, subscribe. Okay. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Have a have a good harvest day with and enjoy your family and friends and a lot of good food. And um, we'll see you in a few weeks, okay?